how can you step in into an issue of Agbero system? In what mega city does that happen? It shouldn't even happen at all. And even in setting up your parks and management and, and whatever it is that, that, that is going on, of which we don't even know, the area of operations are not known to, to, to a lot of us I, 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 that I don't understand. I always teach Sheriff about it. You can't run a country like this. You can't. So it's not about talking about the amount. Oh, you know, we cannot be doing 10,000 a day. We can only be doing this and that. You can't continue. One day somebody goes out, chairman, you continue to collect me. This kind of extortion. It cannot continue. And the government, the government has to turn Lagos into a civilized into a civilized place. You keep saying you have the aspiration for it to be a mega city. This one is not a mega city. It's not. The government needs to come down on on, 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 on on this system. If they are going to have their own parks and whatever, let people pay an annual fee, have a sticker on their car, and stop all this nonsense. You, you know, all this daily money, cash, and so on and so forth. I, I, don't, I don't understand it. It will always be exploited. Yeah, but the government moved in in January this year when we intensified debate on this conversation yeah. by introducing a daily levy of 800 naira that is ticketed. If you pay that, you're not supposed to pay any other thing for you, the day. That, that in itself is a prescription for confusion. How can you have a daily levy? At one point, how, who does that? What you should do is you should have a kind of license and a sticker to go with it a, well, it, it, a daily levy is a prescription for for is a prescription for and then government always says that they don't want revenue in cash what happens to that daily levy that is collected in cash how is it accounted for how do you know that people don't go and print their own tickets right where is the money paid to right. how much is a lot of money yeah right so Very that right. in itself is a prescription for for all you need to do is to have an annual levy which you can pay instrumentally and you have a sticker to identify a vehicle you cannot be on the road if you don't have a sticker then you can say okay we have a, a system where by direct debit you can pay monthly or you can even pay daily you can use uh, what do you call these small banks now i'm still on holiday microfinance uh, microfinance banks you, you know if you if you want to go and do it as some kind of a job you pay daily but you have a sticker but my question though is let's even forget that this is the transport sector is there any other sector where people pay this huge amount of money as tax it's a racket even to the government i mean it is a racket why, why don't, would anybody need to pay so much money 800 and per day times I, 30. I stand i stand i stand to say here yeah, that this thing is sheer racketeering how can you say people should buy ticket daily cash do, oh, do, 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 do people pay like that in the agri sector no do they pay like that in the education sector no but if you are not careful very soon to walk the streets you'll be paying a daily levy it is it, 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 a racket that is trying to be legitimized that's the honest to god truth that's the honest to god truth it's, it's like i said if the world is more than now you can have you can set up direct debits people you know from their microfinance whatever you get a direct debit to the bank and you give them a sticker you are not on the road if you don't have that sticker. Or a license. Or a, yes, a, it's a, it's a or a, the same way you pay for your, your vehicle, your vehicle and inspection. MOT. Yeah, you yes. do that annually and that's it. Thing. Your license fee, you pay that in for a year. In what civilized country do you see people collecting daily cash? It's, it's, it's actually, even to the government, I mean, that, that's, over, that's money is too much. It's, I, th how I think you, it's too much. How, how, how do, knowing, night, knowing Nigerians, I can imagine the number of fake tickets that you have. Uh, yeah, out, yeah. Out, out there. Something they uh, do for even BRT. For BRT, yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see uh, another you, story. You have other countries you can borrow that from. You have the Oyster system. You can even use your debit card. So many things that you can do. So, okay, this mass of money. Let, let's even stretch it a little bit. Yeah. More sorry. This mass of money that is collected daily, where is it domiciled? Should be to the Ministry of Transport. And then they count the cash. Well, I would assume. So I had reached out. In fact, I promised the people to. I reached out to MC Oluomo. His number wasn't connecting. But I got somebody else from the parks and garages. Mm. I think it's for Bariga. So I want to see if I can bring him on Monday. Because I want to, I want to know. Uh, Odumosu. Yes. So MC Oluomo, is, it, is he the chairman? Yes, he's the chairman of the Lagos State Parks what, and what Garages. What is Odumosu? Uh, is he not the transport? Uh, no, Odumosu is the acting commissioner of police who retired. Uh, where is he now? He's, he's, I don't know whether he's the MD. I don't know what he is. 
Therefore, you know, you the, know, the, the Lagos the, the, State actually had a parks and manages uh, garage, um, parks and guardians and something, something agency before. Yes. So when they started this committee, I I saw no reason for it because the government has an existing. You go to the Lagos State website, you find it there. There mm. is actually under the Ministry of Transportation an agency called Parks and Garages Kiniko Kiniko. Should I tell you the parks and garages in the past, the monies were collected at the parks. Right. Do you understand? If you go to any of the parks as the driver is about to go out, buy that ticket. Hmm? Yes. That is different from the folks that are applying the roads. How do you do that? No, I mean, even the ones that are being ticketed at the parks, mm. why is it so? Is that how it should be? Of course not. Because why am I being... What, what business, if I'm if I'm into business, do, is there any business that pays a daily levy? Well, we must do me a favor. Why? Bring the commissioner for finance here. Let him come and explain. I, I, I don't think how he's much, ever been here. Yes, grab him. Yes. Let's explain, let him explain what happened how to much this money it has and who been. counts this daily cash and don't forget the kind of cash you're talking about are not new notes or anything yeah is a, a sweat all kinds of things all kinds of things are going on and then okay these guys who actually do collect are they employees of the government how much or, are they being or, paid or, or are they agents and how much are, are they, they, are they paid? on commission I mean, Jack Affair, uh, let, let's move on to second this, visit. This transport <laughs> thing is, is just somehow. It's just, it's just. It's, it's, it's a racket. Somehow. It's a racket.